Rodney, in trying to understand the fundamental reality of the world, you can go very big to cosmology or very small to quantum mm -hmm. mechanics. And in quantum mechanics, I've now been hearing about the multi-world interpretation of quantum theory, which either talks about an incredible branching mm -hmm. at every decision mode mm -hmm. in at, at very, very small periods of time, or some some uh, his, past histories of the universe which get selected for over time through mm -hmm. this uh, process. Uh, you're astrophysicist, you're a theologian, using either or both of those uh, uh, professions. Help me understand this multi-world interpretation of quantum mechanics. Whenever there is some quantum event uh, that has alternative outcomes, the idea of multi-worlds worlds is that both, or as many as there are, possible outcomes all happen, and the universe in some way branches uh, where all, all these different events then occur in these different universes. Um, now, that um, seems to me to be a philosophical interpretation of quantum theory, um, one of a number of possible uh, interpretations. Um, it's not demanded by the science, it seems to me. So uh, it, it's a it's a it's a philosophical position that some physicists take. Um, it's an increasing position, yeah. and the claim is is that is an honest reading of the Schrödinger equation in terms of its probability distribution. And as bizarre as it seems to me initially, it has an increasing um, attraction for many physicists who I respect. Well, I think certainly some in cosmology, uh, but there are certainly some skeptics oh, sure, as well. Sure. Um, and, I, okay, what it does away with is the collapse of the wave function. Um, so you have this there's two parts mm -hmm. in quantum theory. You have the, the determinist e evolution of the wave function, then you make a quantum measurement, and that's the outcome is determined probabilistically. Now, as soon as you multiply up by infinity, you're starting to enter difficult realms of how many multiples you end up with, and it seems to me that you're already raising difficult mm -hmm. philosophical questions when you go down this, this route of, 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 of multi-worlds. Um, I don't think it's an answer to the fine-tuning of the universe, not per se, because nothing in the original scheme, at any rate of Everett, says that, um, that, that the parameters are going to change at these branchings. You've got the laws of physics with the constants of physics that you've got, and that's the way it branches. Yeah, the, mul the multi-world interpretation is very different yeah. than the multiple universes. Sure, sure, is a, but they're often very, combined. Yeah. Yeah, there's a very different mm. way of sure. thinking, and, 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 the, and the laws of physics would seemingly be the same yeah, yeah. in all of these exactly. quantum, quantum physics exactly. uh, multi-world interpretations. Exactly, they not normally would yeah. be. That's, that's right. Yeah. Um, but, but why are you a, a skeptic? Okay, uh, well, um, I'm a skeptic because it's a philosophical position and I'm more inclined to something like the Copenhagen interpretation that there is real, real collapse of the wave function and so on and that the, that the outcome is... And I, I'm skeptical about this diverging worlds. Um, I, I think it gives rise to philosophical metaphysical problems such as the one, I, uh, the one about uh, how many branches, how branchings do you get? Do you get everything branching n times or fifty? You know, how many, however many it, times? It seems to end to the end to the end yeah, exponentially. Yeah, yeah. Ex exactly, over. and at each stage, um, uh, in proportion to the probabilities. Uh, but the probabilities only give, give you proportions. So I think there's a problem there. There is a problem, I think, about human identity and being split as a person. Uh, into, Are you now putting on your theological hat? I'm putting on my, yeah, to, to a degree, I'm putting on my uh, theological hat. I just want to know who I'm talking yeah. to. Yeah, exactly. At any given moment. This is more of a, th of a theological You're branching uh, here in terms of your physics and your, uh, you're doing well, your own I'm, little branching. I'm, I'm, I'm one person, but, <laughs> yeah. but, but, but uh, um, maybe, so I'm, I'm fine. maybe I'd like to understand me. from your yeah. theological point of view. Yeah. Theologically, it worries me that, uh, you know, I split into, into two and, uh, um, I, I may then go on on in these two different worlds and or more 
infinitely many different worlds, <laughs> different copies of me go on branching. And, uh, you know, I do anything I possibly yeah. could do because my decisions are, are right. different in the different worlds and so on. That seems to question um, human identity. I mean, I think other people than religious people might have a, a worry about that as well. Yeah. Honestly, you're, you're, you're saying, Robert, that I'm putting on my theological yeah, hat, yeah. and yes, but I think other people might have a, a concern about that too. Mm. Um, so, so yeah, I do have a worry. And, and I suppose if one thinks about Christian theology, more particularly the, the, the incarnation, the idea that Christ, uh, God came as a human person in, in Christ um, and dwelt on this earth uh, uh, as a as a person or do we think of him as being split multiple virgin births i mean you know it just gets bizarre <laughs> it gets bizarre the, you know theologically just as much as you know for, for for us as individuals it seems to me